There was a fire in the Gulf of Mexico. It's in the video footage that you see right beside me. And it was as it happened as a result of a underwater gas pipe leaking. Now it took five hours for authorities to take get that fire taken care of, you know, because how do you how do you extinguish a fire that's in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> so luckily they did handle it, but it was only because they were able to shut down the gas pipe that was leaking. Now the circular inferno formed at 5.30 a.m. or 5.15 a.m. after this pipeline, which is about 12 inches in diameter leaked. And the pipeline belongs to Mexico. So President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador of Mexico has actually focused more on kind of bolstering their fossil fuel company, nationalizing it because he sees it as a path forward for more jobs for Mexican citizens, which I understand. But there is unfortunately a price to play, a price to pay when you go in that direction as opposed to focusing on maybe renewable energies and creating new jobs that way. He has said that he wants to restore Pemex's and that's the name of the company. Pemex's former status as a national oil company that made Mexico self sufficient in energy and provided hundreds of thousands of well paying jobs. Now, obviously, this isn't an indictment specifically on Mexico. This is something that we've been experiencing when it comes to US based fossil fuel companies. We've seen oil spill after oil spill, whether it's in the ocean or on land. And I wanna give you those details in just a second, because in California specifically, where we have a mayor and also specifically a governor who claims to care about climate change, their actions certainly do not match their rhetoric. So I wanna talk about Gavin Newsom in just a minute. But before I do, Cenk, do you wanna jump yeah. in? Look guys, if people look at this decades later when the earth is on, you know, the entirety of the earth is on fire. They're gonna say, how did they not do anything? I mean, there was a, a an entire city in, in California that burnt down that was called paradise, paradise burnt down. Then the, then the ocean was on fire, then Siberia was on fire. And then the, I forget if it was the North Pole, the South Pole or both that were on fire. And they just sat around and why didn't they do anything? And oh well, they were worried about the stock market. This has this new movie out on Amazon Prime and they, where the future comes back and says we need more fighters to come to the future because we're losing to the aliens. I feel like if it happened in real world, like it would be the reverse. People would come from the future and go, you burn the planet down, do something now, do something now. Why are you continuing to burn the, oh, you're worried about the stock market, are you insane? Oh, You let um, your politicians take money from oil companies and that's why you let them burn the planet? No, wake up and do something. So I like Obrador overall, but we're honest. We do a news program where we gotta call people out. So yeah, I get it, he's got different priorities in Mexico and he's gotta really worry about the jobs. Etc. I understand all that, but stop building fossil fuels and stop extracting fossil fuels and putting it in. They're not safe. Now we're gonna get to Gavin Newsom and our own problems here in America in a second. And by the way, he's also a Democrat and we're also gonna criticize him because the facts matter. Now, the other thing that I wanted to point out is, oh no, don't worry, these things don't leak. I mean, they leak all Every the time, time. All every the time. time. You remember the fight in North Dakota we, and we covered it first and most, etc. And every, the mainstream media is like, whoa, whoa, what do you, and they, and all the activists said, these things leak, it's gonna leak into the water. And the, and the oil companies are like, no, no, we never leak. But we, we have evidence of you leaking hundreds of times, right? And so here it is, a giant fire in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. And by the way, the uh, officials in Mexico said there was no leak. No, 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 hold on. <laughs> they said that, yeah, exactly, so they said, yeah, I mean, there's no evidence of anything leaking into the ocean. What? What does that even mean? And, and by the way, the Mexican officials are really not providing any other details other than that. There's a lack of transparency there, uh, probably because they want to protect their own you know, situation and they don't want to deal with uh, any type of consequence that might come along with the fact that they had a pipe that leaked 
in the Gulf of Mexico and uh, caused this issue for five hours straight. And by the way, it's not the first time this has happened. If you research uh, fire in the middle of the ocean, other videos will come up from previous instances of this happening. So this is something that happens repeatedly and needs to be addressed. And not just by Mexico, guys, this is a problem that needs to be addressed globally. And when it comes to the United States, clearly we have uh, a lot of guilt and a lot of blame uh, with our own actions. So let's focus on Gavin Newsom, who had some rhetoric that I certainly agree with when this story broke recently. He tweeted, the ocean is literally on fire, but yeah, sure, we can't afford climate action. Which is, again, nothing wrong with that tweet, but rhetoric is one thing, actions obviously speak louder than words. So what exactly has Gavin Newsom done in regard to climate change, climate action? Well, according to Newsweek, Gavin Newsom, Governor Gavin Newsom has projected the image of a climate activist or advocate pledging in October that the state would ban all hydrofracking by 2024. This is an article from 2020, by the way. At the same time, his administration granted 1,709 new oil and gas well production permits in 2020. And that's according to Frack Tracker Alliance, a 116.6% increase over the previous year year. So it's cute when you use the right words to appeal to progressive voters or Democratic voters. But make no mistake about it, in California, we might have Democratic lawmakers, but if you look at their actions, they're really not different from what you would see from a Republican lawmaker, especially in regard to anything having to do with climate change. I mean, Gavin Newsom accepting or allowing these permits to go through is absolutely reprehensible, especially given the fact that he postures as someone who cares about climate change. Yeah, um, so it, the problem is the politicians and the and here we go again, the media, why? So uh, I'll update the numbers. So Frack Tracker now says that between January 2019 when Gavin Newsom took office and today, 8,610 total permits were approved. Jesus. Uh, 8,610, but he's got a good tweet, but the tweet was good, it was pleasant, it was good rhetoric. Now when you do that tweet, you shouldn't rely on progressive activists to give you the actual news. Like we're a news program, we just gave you the news. That's, you can go look it up for yourself, it's just, it's a fact, right? And we gave you two different numbers and, and maybe that they're, you know, it's the same organization, etc. right? Now, the rest of the news, just gives Gavin Newsom credit. Oh, Bravo, nice tweet, nice tweet. Can you believe they want to recall him? How dare they? It is a Republican hatchet job. Except there are plenty of progressives in the state of California who are not happy with the performance that we've seen from Gavin Newsom. Yeah, and we're always stuck, you know, between these guys. The Republicans are loathsome. Uh, and and so did they mainly lead a recall effort? Yes, of course, they, they're the opposition, right? But does that mean Gavin Newsom is awesome progressive? No, it doesn't mean that. It's easy to have both of those thoughts in your head at the same time, unless you live in a black and white world, right? Is he good or is he evil? I hear the world is binary, right? So, the, so but we've got to have accountability. So when the, the official in Mexico says, the leak didn't cause a spill and you see the you know the water on fire you know he's an obvious liar right it you shouldn't have to you don't need permission if you're in the press to call a lying politician a liar okay and when Gavin Newsom says oh i care so much about climate change and he approves thousands of oil and gas permits it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out he's not being truthful. And guys, the, now the most important part, why? Why are they not being truthful? Because of their donors. And I don't know how much Gavin has taken in dark money, because if you think dark money is only for Republicans, you literally don't know the news. No, Democrats take tons of dark money, right? And, and they take money from corporations and then corporations packs as the Exxon Mobil lobby has explained. I think it was just last week that we covered that story. They're like, oh, we do these front groups so we don't take the blame for it. And then we funnel the money to Democratic and Republican politicians. And then they do nice, he didn't say this part, now this is me. They do nice tweets and all, LA Times, San Francisco Chronicle, all of the press goes, oh, bravo, Gavin Newsom, he's fighting climate change. No, he's not, no, he's not. They all serve the same donor class and the world is burning because of them.
Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.